hello everyone in this video we are going to determine the resultant of this system of forces let us see this question in this question they have given us five coplanar forces which are acting at a point so if you say uh, take this as point o there are five forces which are acting 100 newtons 200 newtons 200 newtons 275 and 250 newtons there are five forces which are acting at point o so this is coplanar concurrent force system that means all these forces they are in xy plane as well as they are concurrent forces that means the line of action of all the forces it is passing through a single point that is o so now the question is determine the resultant in magnitude and direction so let us try to determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant forces so let us start now so in the earlier class also we have studied we have seen the formula how to calculate the resultant and how to find out the direction so if you want to calculate the resultant force first is that we have to calculate all the forces along x direction that is we have to find out summation of f of x as well as we have to find out summation of f of y that is all the forces which are acting in y direction then next uh, by using the formula resultant that is equal to square root of summation of f of x square plus summation of f of y square in this formula if you substitute we are going to get the magnitude of resultant then next is if you want to calculate the direction that is theta that will be equal to tan inverse of summation of f of y divided by f of x so by using this formula we can find out the magnitude and direction of the resultant force so let us try to calculate forces which are uh, summation of forces in x direction and summation of all the forces in the y direction one by one so let us start now uh, we will take uh, uh, first summation of f of x so therefore summation of f of x will be we will start now summation of f of x all the forces which are acting in the force component along the x direction so f of x uh, so one by one let us try to resolve the forces along x direction first let us take this 100 newton force so if you take this force we have to resolve this force along x direction so if you see the arrow if you are going to resolve the force it is going to move towards right side so therefore this will be plus so already in the earlier class also we have seen the uh, sign conventions that is if the force if it is going to move upwards it is positive if it is going to move towards right it is positive if it is going to move towards left negative if it is going to move toward downwards then it is negative this is the sign convention what we are going to use so if you see the force now if you see the arrow where it is moving now it is going to move towards right side so therefore it is positive then next is we have the force 100 newton so we'll write force 100 newton then next is we have to resolve this force along x direction so if you see the angle is given with respect to the horizontal so therefore if you are going to resolve this force along the angle it is cos theta so therefore this will be cos of 45 degrees cos of 45 degrees so this force component along x direction it will be 100 cos of 45 then next we will go to second force that is 200 newtons right so we have to resolve this force along x direction so therefore now if you see the arrow if you are going to resolve it is going to move towards right side so therefore this will be positive the next force is how much 200 newtons we have then next is uh, we have to resolve this force along x direction now if you see the angle is given with respect to the vertical but we are resolving it away from the angle so therefore it is 
instead of cos we can have it sin so therefore it will be sin of 30 degrees so 30 degrees they have given with respect to vertical we are resolving away from the angle so therefore we are going to use sin theta then next is we will go to the third force that is 200 newtons we have so this force has to be resolved along x direction so this is the x direction if you see the arrow if you are going to resolve the force it is going to move towards left side so therefore this will be minus of 200 minus 200 we have then next angle is given with respect to vertical but we are resolving it away from the angle so therefore it will be sin theta right so therefore this is sin of 30 degrees then next we will go to the fourth force that is 275 newtons so this has to be resolved along x direction now so if you see the arrow this is going to move towards left side therefore it is minus so force is how much 275 newtons we have then next is the angle given is 6 degrees with respect to horizontal so we are resolving with respect to horizontal itself that is along the angle so therefore this will be cos of 6 degrees cos of 6 degrees then next this will take this last force that is 250 newtons so if you you have to resolve this force along x direction right so therefore if you see this is if you resolve it is going to move towards left so therefore this will be minus of 250 then next is we require the angle so towards the angle it is 20 degree away from the angle we are resolving so therefore it is sine of 20 degrees so we have covered all the forces and we have found out all the force component along x direction so if you simplify this equation we are going to get answer as minus 288.287 newtons this is the value of summation of f of x then next similarly what we do now we try to calculate all the force component along y direction so this is over now this is over next we have to calculate this summation of f of y so let us try to calculate that summation of f of y now so let us try to calculate now summation of f of y so therefore now this is uh, so we will calculate summation of f of y now so that means we have to resolve all the forces along y direction so again we will start with this 100 newton force now this has to be resolved along y direction so if you see the arrow if you are going to resolve it here it is going to move upwards so therefore 100 therefore it is positive so therefore plus 100 we have then next is we have to see the angle now so angle is given with respect to the horizontal but we are resolving away from the angle so therefore what happens to that it will be sine of 45 degrees then next we will go to the second force that is 200 newtons so if you see the arrow if you are going to resolve this force along y direction it is going to move upwards therefore it is positive plus 200 newtons we have then next is we have to see the angle so if you see the angle it is given with respect to vertical itself so therefore along the angle it will be cos of 30 degrees we have cos of 30 degrees then next is we will take this third force again 200 newton force if you are going to resolve this force along y direction it is going to move upwards therefore it is plus 200 we have next is angle so angle is given with respect to vertical itself therefore it is cos of 30 degrees then next we will go to another force that is 275 newtons so this has to be resolved along y direction now in this direction we have to resolve so if you see the arrow if you are going to resolve the force is going to move in the downward direction therefore it is minus minus of 275 next comes is whether we have to use cos theta or sin theta so if you see the angle they have given is with respect to horizontal but we are resolving it along y direction so therefore it will be sin theta therefore this will be sin of 6 degrees 
Then next let us try to calculate this last force that is 250 Newton force. So if you see the arrow now, if you are going to resolve, it is going to move downwards. Therefore it is minus. Therefore this will be minus. So force is how much? 250 we have. 250 Newtons multiplied by the angle. So we are resolving along y direction. Therefore it will be cos of 20 degrees. Cos of 20 degrees. So if you simplify this equation, uh, we will be getting answer around 153.452 Newtons. So this is the value of summation of f of y and this is the value of summation of f of x. So now we have to substitute this in the formula that is resultant is equal to resultant r is equal to resultant r is equal to square root of summation of f of x square plus summation of f of y square. So f of x value already we have calculated here that is 288. So we have 288.27287 we have square plus uh, f of y is 153.452 square and square root of this. So if we are going to simplify this, we are going to get the magnitude of the resultant force. So if you simplify this, we will be getting answer as 326.584 Newtons. This is the magnitude of the resultant force. Then next is we have to calculate now what is the angle or what is the direction. So how we can calculate that direction? So therefore that theta will be equal to tan inverse of summation of f of y divided by summation of f of x. So therefore that will be equal to tan inverse of f of y will be this value that is 153.452 to then next is summation of f of x will be 288.287. So if you simplify this, we will be getting answer that is theta will be equal to. So therefore theta value we are going to get answer as 28.02. 28.02. So this is the final answer we have. This is the magnitude of the resultant force and this is the direction. So if you club all these forces and if you find out ultimately what we can say the resultant it is going to act the resultant it is going to act what you can say uh, based on the f of x is negative. So that means somewhere here it is going to come and f of uh, y is positive means here it will come. So therefore what answer we are going to get so that answer will be equal to this. So this is the magnitude of the, this is the resultant force which is going to act at an angle of 28.20 uh, degrees, 28.02 degrees with respect to the horizontal. Right. So how, why I have drawn this in the second quadrant? Because if you see the summation of f of x, we are getting negative resultant. So f of x will be negative on the left side and f of y is positive. So y will be positive in this above this axis. So therefore resultant it is going to act somewhere here and always what angle we calculate it will be with respect to the horizontal. 